My name is Harzik and uh, I'm going to pre uh, present to you my design of a retractable power outlet. So, how many of you, uh, first of all, let's just start with the prom right here. The prom is how many of you have hair dryers, laptops, cables, anything that is, has a power cord always too short to use. And uh, the power outlet that you need is never too close. Well, here's the pollution. Um, also, every time you try to find an extension cord, you have to go through all these boxes, cables, start tripping everywhere, kids fall under it, very dangerous. So this is my idea for a solution. This is what I've come up with a uh, retractable power outlet. So the cool part about this is that the extension cord is already built into the wall. So you don't have to jumble around for extension cords, you don't have to um, go through Christmas boxes, lighting boxes, any of that. Just um, pull this tab. This is a, just a small button that pops out the but pops out the power outlet, and just stretch it. It has a built-in cam gear, which automatically locks the position, so it does not go back in or kind of become loose or anything like that. So it's like an extension cord, and it also comes with a built-in retracting motor. So just a small little motor that just winds the, after you're done with it, there's a switch to turn it on and it just automatically winds the power outlet. So you don't even have to worry about pushing it in or anything like that. It's just like a basic motor that just fits directly into the wall. So there are common building codes, first of all, is that it has, most building codes have studs in the wall, and usually 16 inches apart or 4 by 6 basically what they call. The motor, uh, you might think it's too wide to fit in there, but the motor is just about 3 and a half inches, so it's not that wide really. It's basically any common kind of uh, soap box basically. So it's not that wide overall. And um, the parts that are in the in that actual electrical out of it is mainly the power socket. So we all know we have a lot of different adapters for for your, um, for your laptops, for your hair dryers, for, uh, for your cell phones and everything. This one comes with an uh, option of a changeable adapter. So you can uh, basically change any kind of two prong or four prong or three prong or anything like that. Other part, the most important part is the extension cord. So the extension cord is actually built in. And unlike most extension cords are very thick, this is actually going to be the very thin one, which is very easy to track, easy to pull and people don't trip over them. Most of the time you see have extension cords laying around, but these, this will be very thin so that it fits through the wall, it doesn't take as much space, and at the same time, it's very safe. And the other, uh, uh, other is the pop-up button. How are you going to pull out the power clip without a pop-up button? So basically, the pop-up button is just a small C-shaped button that just kind of pulls it out of the socket. The other part is the retracting motor that I was saying. Not very wide, just a small box that just is attached to the actual spindle of the electric, uh, of the extension cord, which allows the stack to spin in to the wall again. So, like I was saying, power sockets, there are a lot of different types. In the US, there are basically only two of them. It's called an A and B adapter. It's basically what this one looks like. It's just two prongs and the one middle for the ground. And it's basically used all over North America. Um, and the socket is basically actually directly connected to the extension cord. And like I was saying, they do come with adapters, so if you do want to take them overseas, like they can be installed overseas as well. So it's not based on America only. It, uh, the product can be taken overseas for different countries to use as well. And um, uh, the extension cord I was saying was mounted inside the wall. So this one basically is going to explain the extension cord. You can kind of see, I actually found this online where somebody had just built an extension cord with no outlet. Uh, it was kind of strange, but apparently he just wanted to store extension cords. But basically, uh, this was my idea where basically the extension cord would be in the wall, but it would be actually the power outlet. But other than that, this kind of sounds pretty simple. Cables, like I was saying, was usually heavy. This is going to be a lot more lighter. This is actually very thicker than I was thinking. I was planning to make it a lot more slimmer. And they, because they're so thick, they're kind of hard to reel. 
That's why the slim cables make it easier to reel them. They're very lightweight and they don't use as much power by the motor itself. So they are energy efficient. And like I'm saying, uh, the pop-up buttons that I came up with was basically this would be sticking out at the wall and this would be right at the power outlet. So as soon as you press in, this pushes out. So that's what makes the power outlet come out. The so C-shape, so then push the power outlet just get pushed out. It's very easy to use if any kid can use it, so you don't have to worry about anything like that. So now comes the tracking motor. So I understand the tra tra tracking motor has a locking mechanism to keep the cable in place. So once they once you pulled it out, most of the times they sometimes get very loose or they kind of dangle around or they don't pull back in that easily. But in the motor there is what is called a cannier combination split kind of gears which just lock into place by a spring so they don't move as much. So the motor is needs power but it is automatically hardware directly into the power line that you're using. So it has a built in. So and at the same time like I was saying, since the cables are thinner, you don't need to use that that much power to so make it longer easier to use overall. Buttons that were cracked in the cable, basically what uh, that's what it's saying is there's a switch where you can just press and it starts the motor and it starts reeling the wire in to the original place. And uh, the motor is connected to the spindle by a belt. It's a small kind of the belt that you see in most motors are off. You'll see them in uh, uh, factories and everything like that. It's just a small motor that you uh, basically are in motorbikes and everything like that. Nothing very complicated, just pretty simple to attach to the spindle. And there is also, uh, if you want, uh, they have an option of putting a door next to it just in case you want to maintain it. So you want all the motor so it doesn't get loose, say the belts come out or anything like that. There is a door right next to it so that you can make sure everything is running fine. And the main, now the main advantages are basically the ease of use. How many times have you gone to a garage or just to try and find an extension cord for your hair dryer? Kind of makes sense to just have it built in. Big, big advantage is space efficiency. You don't have to worry about putting all those big boxes of extension cords in your garage. They're already in your wall. Make the make life simpler, a lot more space efficient. And they are reliable. Like that's uh, even even if uh, there is anything goes wrong with the motor, like I said, there is a door option. You can check on what's going wrong. It's a pretty simple mechanism, not very complicated overall. And the easy maintenance is just all the motor like about once every six months, just how much you would do on a car really. And like I say, just press the button and you're all set you go to have your power outlet ready for you. Um, so are there any more questions or anything like that? I guess not. So <laughs> thank you for listening to me. If you have any other questions, just let me know and uh, have a nice day guys.